Hello, and welcome to another edition of Think About It with Evie the Deer and Dan the Human. It's me. Today on Think About It, we're talking about spider webs and how spiders instinctively know how to build them. Think about it. Want to be part of creating a new and better society with Evie and me? Join our new and growing eco village. For more information, add me on Instagram and Facebook. Links in the description below. Think about it. Building web is a complicated business. It's not similar in any way to instinctively building a dam as a beaver or rearing children as a mouse or licking your children clean as a deer would do. It involves an intricate series of precise angles, geometry, math, physics, patterns, all interconnected in confusing stages. If I were to build the same setup out of say two by fours, I would need some semi-complicated blueprints with specific angles and geometry. And I'm an engineer. How does a spider know what to do? Three, five more steps, another left two inches. How does a spider measure out an exact 22.234 degrees while pulling a web out of its rear end? How does it know that 22.327 degrees is just enough spacing to not allow a certain type of bug to pass through each web wire? but not too little to not be efficient for the web distribution and strength. How does a spider even know for the first time that if it constructs this load bearing framework with this sticky stringy stuff that's currently coming out of his butt, that some other living thing that he's never even actually seen before will miraculously fly right through this space and get caught and stuck in this finished product and he'll be able to fill his empty belly. Female spiders like other animals don't stick around and rear their children. Newly born spiders don't imitate their parents or siblings as cubs and coyotes would. Does he instinctually just feel the need to push out the string at a continuously 22.2374 degrees with left turns in growing increments? And like, why do orb weaver spiders specifically make spiral orb webs? And like sheep web spiders specifically make sheep webs? Why don't orb weavers make sheet webs or triangle webs or funnel webs? It's not trial and error or the most efficient design like the pyramids, because then you'd all have about the, basically the same looking web. No other spiders tell him. No one taught him to do this. He's never even seen another spider web before. I don't get it. There's too many unanswered questions here. Think about it. Again, and as always, do not believe everything you're told. Think for yourself. This has been another episode of Think About It with Dan the Human and Eva the Deer. Think about it. <laughs>